From all your travels, you've traveled extensively, much, much more than I have. Have you ever seen um, examples of countries or cultures or groups of people that are unaffected and extremely resilient in times like this of, like you said, pandemic, pandemic, uh, famine and war? Like, are there systems in place that you've seen that are so, sort of holding up the middle finger to the fertilizer price increases and, you know, food supply disruptions. Is there anyone thriving out there? Yeah. For instance, recently I was down in the Darien Gap with, um, with Indians. I was out with, I go out in the Darien Gap a lot. That's that jungle area between Columbia and Panama. I've spent many months there in the last a uh, year and a half, two years. I, in fact, I took two congressmen out last year, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Tom Tiffany was one, and went 25 miles with me out into the jungle. I couldn't believe it. I mean, up on dugout canoes with the Indians or Embara Indians. So I spent a lot of time out with Embara Indians, and more recently with Kuna Indians. And the Kuna Indians are actually look up Kuna K U N A K U N A K Kuna Indian Health, and you'll see scientific studies that these Kuna Indians are incredibly healthy mm -hmm. and they're living out there like Tarzan, man. And they're hunting with <laughs> poison darts. Mm -hmm. Kids are always, every, when I'm out in their villages, the kids are always by the rivers because they always, they live by the rivers, right? So that they swim and they bathe in the rivers like five, six times. They're always out in the rivers, man. They're river people. And so the kids are always out wallowing in the mud like pigs, like we used to do when we were kids. Mm -hmm. But they're always in the mud. Like every, I come to a new village, there's the kids in the mud again. You can just count on it. Here's, there's the kids in the mud again, jumping into the river, back in the mud. Back in, <laughs> and they just rolling it like pigs, man. And they're having the time of their life waving yep. at you, their white teeth out of the mud, you know. And it's like, you know, smiling, climb up the giant jungle tree, jump into the river. I mean, and they're super healthy. Look up Kuna Health. Kuna are famously militant, man. They're like king of the jungle. They're, they, they, they fight out there. They kill people. They're totally, and I'm out there, a white guy alone with them. You know, and they're, and they're just like, you know, come on, let's go. And we're talking about stuff. And at one point, this so the 84-year-old guy, and I'm like, how's the health? He's like, nobody here has this COVID mm -hmm. nonsense. And he's like, and we're not taking their poisons. Look, look how healthy I am. And he is, man. We're walking around in the midday sun. He's 84 years old. We're out in the jungle and stuff. He's showing me all this stuff. You know, he's like, this is where we get this food. This is where we get this medicine and all this stuff. You know what I mean? He's like, yeah. You know, and the, ki and the kids are following us, running around, jumping on him like he's a tree and he's 84 years old. And, you know, and it's just happy people. 